You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you may on Twitter, the gaming dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class. So I'm starting a new Let's Play series on Gil's Path. I will be covering Gil's Path after all. Um, I am curious as to his backstory and such. He's a very lewd, odd, lecherous character. But there, there, I, I'm betting there is a lot more to him than meets the eye, so... Let's go ahead and jump right back in, y'all. So I think we'll be starting a new game, since I'm not entirely sure where, you know... Not entirely sure uh, where we split off again for Gil. It's been a while, so let's just start a new game. So, yeah, oh, yes, absolutely. Sure. Oh, wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. We'll do... Okay, wow, okay. Uh, let's do Gil. Let's do Gil. Then we'll do Anders, then we'll do Parker. All right. Okay, work in progress. Summary, work in progress. Okay. That works. All right. Let's do it. Confident and outgoing, Coach Gil was a weird case. Your love-hate relationship with him complicates things. But that aside, you sort of enjoy his lecherous actions, despite that it was a rather questionable trait to have. I'm not saying you were agreeing with it, or nor were you denying it, but his touches against your body made you shiver in pleasure, and you didn't know how to react to it at, at times. Oh, needless to say, he would touch you around, given the permission and circumstances, before he got naked to do more things with you. Come to think of it, even though he was like this, you've never seen him naked. Maybe that'll change soon. Oh my god, yep. You ran your hands all over your body before you moved your hand toward one of your nipples, gently massaging it with the other hand. I had a firm grip on. Yep, 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 yep. Coach, stop it! You let your imagination run wild, doing that, doing what your horny thoughts could come up with at the moment. At first, you were feeling guilty for having such thoughts about him, but the pleasure outweighed the guilt. Without realizing, you'd been thrusting your hips and picking up the pace, yearning for a sweet release. A few strokes later, your body started trembling as your climax grew rapidly. Uh, feeling weakness around your legs, you learned you leaned your right hand against the wall for support. And with that last one last stroke, you finally reached your climax. Rope after rope of hot... Uh, the... With, uh, sham, uh, shampoo uh, that you've saved for weeks finally spurted out of the bottle. You then pressed your body against the wall, hoping it slightly to escalate the pleasure in the bottle region. You moaned and groaned as hard as you could as you spewed out your love juice onto the wall... It's not like anyone could hear you here anyways. Oh, that's that first episode is definitely getting a little editing. Once you and your junior calmed down, you cleaned yourself once again as lust escaped your body, and your conscience started to take over. Now you really felt bad for jerking off to him. Without that pleasure to, to outweigh your guilt now. Ugh, it's like high school all over again. I should be better. I should know better by now. And now I have to clean the wall before, wall before I leave. But, whew, that was good. After cleaning the mess you made onto the wall and feeling satisfied with the shower, you turned off the water and stepped left foot first out of the tub. You dried yourself with a towel before walking back to your room. I always forget to bring a new pair of clothes with me. I shouldn't make this a habit of mine. But then again, I live alone now, so that shouldn't be a problem. You grabbed a set of clothes and started dressing yourself. And I'm done. Let's get out of my room. Ooh, I have a lot of time before I'm, uh, I'm leaving for school. What should I do? Go to school. <laughs> I think I did whatever I wanted or needed to do. Guess I'll head to the campus now. You grabbed your backpack and headed out of the house. After making sure that the door was locked, you turned your back and took a deep breath, ready for a new day. The weather was nice for a moment. It was neither, cold, it was neither too cold nor too hot. I can get used to this weather easily. Let's hope it doesn't change later in the day. As you exited the gate, you took a small step toward the road. Hey, is that it? Hey, isn't that... You saw Coach Gill in the distance. He was waving to you as if he'd been waiting for you the whole time. Oh. Hey, Henry. Coach, what are you doing here? I'm heading to the campus. Like, walking? Do you live near here? Not at all. Then... Ugh, I missed the bus because I overslept, so I had to walk. This is not the way to school. I just wandered around, okay? It's still early, anyway. Ha, huh, okay, okay. But I get to exercise, so it's not that bad. Anyway, we can talk as we walk to school, unless you want to go by yourself. As much as I try to avoid him, I can't say no to that, said the one who just came to his coach in the shower. But then again, your relationship with Coach Gill was a complicated one. You've been trying to avoid him the whole time, but at the same time, you wanted to get his attention. Sure, let's go together. Second, y'all. It is water time. This will be page three, water time, and... Uh... 
name it. Yeah, there we go. It is Gil. Okay, water time. Got so many new games coming out, so little time. Anyway. Okay. Oh yeah, did you know that... To be actually honest, you were expecting him to be teasing you the entire time, but so far he hadn't done it yet. Speaking of Highwell, why did you move here, coach? Hmm? Ah, I just wanted to teach somewhere different. Don't get me wrong, teaching at the high school was great. I got to meet you all, and it was the best decision I'd ever made. I weren't so sure whether to be creeped out or blushed like a high school girl getting his notice by a senpai. If only he wasn't behaving like the way he was, you wouldn't be confused right now. Feelings sure are weird. But things have gone dull, and I needed a change, after all. I can relate to you on that. Is that so? Tell me more. You know how it is with me, coach. My whole life at my old house is basically a fancy prison. I didn't know that. It had always struck me that you enjoyed living there. At times, yeah, it was fun. I had everything I needed. I've had things ha I've had things handed to me on a silver platter and all that stuff. It was great, but everyone just treated me as if I was a stat was as if I was a statue made of glass. I don't know. No, I don't know the reason they are treating me like that even. I see. But for some reason, they allowed me to move out under one condition. I have to move to Highwell. Heck, I'd have done anything to get out of that place, so I said yes without hesitating. <laughs> I see. Do you at least enjoy this small town? I like it so much! I'm glad, then. I haven't talked to your parents for quite a long time, actually. Right. Right? Yeah, they kept asking me, Do you know why Gil has stopped visiting us? It was so annoying. Heh. <laughs> I guess I left a great impression on your family. Does that mean they expect us to come back as a couple now? You wish! I think of it, he's, he's a great guy. For someone only a few years older than me, he has accomplished a lot. I heard that he graduated earlier than the other students, and that he's from a reputable family, but I'm not sure whether they're true or not. It's not like I have to worry about any of it, but now I've noticed that I don't know anything about him. I feel bad about thinking ill of him sometimes. Ah! Why is it so complicated with him? A gentle squeeze on your shoulder snapped you out of your thoughts. Coach Gale was looking at you, smiling as if he was saying, don't overanalyze things too much. You really like to dive inside your thoughts, huh? If you're doubting something, you should ask instead of making assumptions. Was it about me? Hmm? Somewhat. If that's the case, I don't think you should hesitate. <laughs> he moved his hand from your shoulder toward your glutes. You jumped away in response as you covered your ass. Hey! Quick to react, as always. Don't touch me out of the blue like that. Oh, are you saying that I'm allowed to touch you if I asked? No! Heh, <laughs> just messing with you. Anyway, what were you thinking about? Say, you're not even from my age. Say, you're not even far from my age. How did you manage to get into coaching? Well, let's just say you have a knack for being a coach. <laughs> okay. You didn't even want to answer my question. What's the point of asking? Maybe I should try asking something else instead. He stopped and looked around the area. Was he looking for something? What is it, coach? Ah, nothing. I'm just looking for someone. Usually there's this one big tiger guy sitting near that building over there. Oh, you know him too? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. How do you know him? I, he found my pendant when I dropped it near here. Ah, I see. Okay. Did he say anything weird? What do you mean by weird? Eh, never mind that. Let's keep going. Huh? We arrived here quite early. Alright, y'all. Give me a second. Yeah. Wa do some water. At last! You look relieved to be here. I've been walking for an hour. I'm ready to sit down any time. You could have told me so I'd offer you a so I'd have offered you to rest inside. <laughs> I just don't want to be a bother. Huh? I don't ex didn't expect that coming from you. What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Ooh, I think I get you. He said he got it, but whether he really did or not, it wasn't clear. Do you have anything to do after this? Um, other than getting groceries, not really. If it's not inconvenient to you, would you head to the gym? To the gym after class? There's something important I need from you. Huh? Well, what is it? You'll just have to find out. See you later. Before he left, he winked at you. you watched him so gleefully, tail switching left and right, all, all while you stood there wondering what possibly he needed you from. He needed from you. From your past experiences, either he wanted to tease you or he had something silly in store. He didn't give me the chance to say yes or no. Oh well, I'll find out later. Since there was practically nothing to do here, you walked into the building. You saw Mark walking toward the rest of the bathroom as you climbed a flight of stairs. He was rushing, so you decided to leave him be. Maybe you need to get him to go number two. 
For some reason, you were expecting Mr. Parker to be inside, but it seemed like he wasn't the type to arrive that early. The classroom was half empty, or was it half full? Anyway, you decided to sit on the usual seat since it wasn't taken yet. I guess I arrived a tad early. You put your bag onto the floor while you seated yourself. The carpet looked clean anyway, so there was no reason for you to worry about it getting dirty. Hmm, I still can't help but think about what he said. Let's see. I don't have any other classes after this one. Maybe I can spare a moment for him. Without realizing it, the classroom was getting crowded. You must have had more than ten minutes since you were here. You scanned the room, wondering if Mark was around. Apparently not. Someone else had taken Mark's seat, and it wasn't him. Actually, you'd seen this guy before. He was talking to Mark yesterday, actually. Maybe I should ask him instead. Hey, uh, Avi, is it? Yes? Do you have any idea where Mark is? Sorry, no, he didn't tell me. Ah, okay, thanks. Don't mention it. I wonder what he's up to. Oh! The door opened, you thought was the, you thought that was him, but no, it was Mr. Parker. Oh. I guess he's not coming today. That's weird, I saw him in the hallway earlier. Good morning, class. We're going to continue where we left off yesterday. Today is about prose, and let's just get into it. The word prose first appears in English in the 14th century. He listened to Mr. Parker's lecture thoroughly. That's it for today. Don't forget to read page 17 about prose types. We'll have a quiz next week, so be prepared. Class dismissed. He managed to stay awake the whole session. How boring class was, that was an achievement. Man, that lecture really dragged on. I think I should go outside and get some fresh air. As you walked out, you remember that Coach Gill asked you to meet him at the school at the school gym. Hmm, I'm afraid to find out, but still, I should head there. Coach Gill was standing in front of the door. He noticed you walking toward him. Oh, you're here! Hey, Coach. I thought you wouldn't come. I have nothing to do anyway. I knew I could count on you. So, what is this important thing you need from me? Uh, let's talk about this over lunch. My treat. Sure, I'm a little hungry anyway. Ah, the cafeteria. Haven for the hungry ones, if you have the money, that is. But worry not, today was your lucky day. Coach Gill said he'd treat you to lunch so you didn't have to worry about paying. Not like it mattered anyway, but getting free food? Who couldn't resist the temptation? Definitely you. I'll get us a place to sit down. Meanwhile, you get us food. Here's my card. Just show it to the lady and she'll get you sorted. And oh, since neither of, since neither of us can eat chocolate, please don't order anything with it. All right, coach. He handed you a card. He handed you a card. It was weird. It didn't look like any card you'd ever seen at home. So it was neither debit nor credit. It wasn't a member card either. In fact, it was blank, just white plastic with nothing on it. You felt something indented beneath the card with your finger. When you flipped it over, it revealed a set of numbers. Next to it was his face, and it said school staff. Ah, that's his teacher's card. Second, y'all. It is, in fact, water time. All right. Was he planning to use it to get you free food, or would the or would the order go straight to his tab? Cheaper food, VIP treatment. So many possibilities for having this little card. You look closer to the picture on it. The heck? He looks like some. He looks so handsome in this photograph. Don't lose it. Ah, I won't. Well, free food here I come. Hamburger, fries, salad, cheesecake, chocolate, cake. Since he said no chocolate, since he said no chocolate, so let's let's cross that chocolate cake off our list. What should I get? Hamburger. Uh, hamburger. I'm too sure about the food he likes, but I think I'll get him a hamburger. It's not the safest choice because I don't know someone who just because I don't. It's the safest choice because I don't know someone who dislikes hamburgers. I don't really know what I want, so I think I'll get the hamburger too. After deciding on what you wanted to get for Coach Gill and yourself, you went looking for him. For some unknown reason, he stood up, grinning from ear to ear. That was how you were able to locate him. Thank goodness for that. I thought I'd have to look. I had to look for you longer. My hands are starting to get sore. <laughs> huh? You sound like you're out of shape, Henry. If you don't start exercising soon, your hard-gained muscles will turn into fat. They will? No, they won't. Phew, don't scare me like that. But they will shrink. When was the last time you exercised? Uh, maybe two weeks ago? You have to change that, then. Ugh, I'll think about it after I eat. Anyway, I got us a hamburger. Thanks, Henry. You don't like them? I'm not really a fan, but it's okay. Maybe we should get the fries or salad next time. Yeah, fine. Fries. I get the fries because everyone loves potatoes. I don't really know what I want, so I think I'll get the fries too. Alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, I'm getting more greens, like salad, for example. 
For now. For now, fries are good. Oh, let's do a salad then. Cheesecake. What happens if you choose cheesecake? Ah, I guess I'll get him this cheesecake. I don't really know what I want, so I think I'll do the cheesecakes too. Alright. Oh, man. Cheesecake gonna do. Uh. Okay. Anyway, I got his cheesecakes. Thanks, Henry. No problem. So, what do you need from me? Oh, that. Oh, wow. So, okay, he really didn't have... Really? Do salad. Okay. Since he's a coach, maybe he'd appreciate it if I got him something healthy. I don't know. I don't really know what I want, so I think I'll get salad too. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Ah. Anyway, I got us a salad. Oh, thank you, Henry. You're welcome. I really like it. Gotta stay healthy, after all. But why? I am a coach, after all. Fair point. So what do you need from me? Oh, that. He gulped his food and stared at you. Uh... So, Henry. He grabbed both of your hands and squeezed them a little bit. Um, what? Are you interested in sports? Not much. Why? Do you by any chance enjoy watching basketball matches? No, I don't. Dang it. He looked away, as if he didn't want to hear what he's... Hear you, as if he didn't want you to hear what he said. But you heard him anyway. Could you do me a favor? He squeezed both of your hands tighter than before. Uh, what is this? Why are you holding my hands like this? Everyone is starting to look at us. He ignored what you said and gently pulled you closer towards him. Henry, could you help me out? I get it, but please get away. It's starting to get a little weird. So that's a yes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do? What was that supposed to mean? I mean, yes, I'll help you out. Phew, I'm glad. I put your name in the basketball team. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. If you if tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.